YouTube viewers interested in learning the pattern setups I use to make a living can purchase my best-selling book, Around the Horn, A Trader's Guide to Consistently Scoring in the Markets, and receive a $10 discount from December 10th through the 15th. Just log into TraderInsight.com, click on Books and Courses on the left side of the home page, add Around the Horn to your shopping cart, and enter YouTube in the promo code when checking out. You'll receive a $10 discount and receive Around the Horn via priority mail in three to five days. From Los Angeles, TraderInsight.com presents Dr. Adrian Manns in the war room and at the helm with today's look at stocks and sectors on the radar. For TraderInsight.com, this is Adrian Manns, and this is Stocks and Sectors on the Radar for Friday, December 12, 2008. New claims for unemployment reached a 26-year high, more layoffs are on the way, and General Motors is now toying with the idea of bankruptcy. All that, together with a 10% jump in the price of crude oil, was the news that unfolded during the trading day on Thursday, and that's what managed to push the Dow lower 196 and a third points to close at 85.65. On the NYSE, 707 stocks advanced, 2,428 declined, and 1.47 billion shares exchanged hands. The Dow, the S&P 500, the NASDAQ 100, the NASDAQ Comp, they all sold off once again as everything from the REITs to the commodities and cyclicals rolled over and sold off around 2.30 p.m. A downside continuation to around 84.63 on the Dow seems to be in the cards for Friday, and stocks in the REITs, metals and mining, transports, and energies all look poised for some additional downside. In the metals, Agnico Eagle Mines, ticker symbol AEM, this one left an infield fly setup and trade below 35.75 or so will have Julia and myself looking to take a short side entry on broader market weakness. In the REITs, just about everything looks ready to move lower here, but a fastball expansion of range and volume in equity residential, ticker symbol EQR, will have us looking for a short sale entry below 26.95. The stock's 44% off its high for the year, and the reaction on Thursday has it looking for a retest of recent support, and that's down about a buck from Thursday's close. Chemico Realty, K-I-M, is another fastball setup in the REITs, and trade below 1435 on this one will have us looking for a move lower. In the transports, we've got Ryder, it's ticker symbol R. This one made a fastball move lower on Thursday, and we've got a possible short side trigger around 3150. In oil and gas, Helmrich and Payne, ticker symbol HP, is a switch hitter pullback. I'll look for a move below 2168 as a possible entry for a move lower to an initial target around 2110. Finally, in the oil and gas group, we've got Transoceanic, ticker symbol RIG, that's RIG. Uh, this one's going to be on the radar for a move below 56.80. So everything for Friday's on the short side. If we get some good news overnight, uh, the, the Friday might just be a day off because things might move higher. But the way that it looks right now, uh, we're probably headed lower for the session and for the week. So if you have any questions, please feel free to email me at adrian at traderinsight.com. Remember to use protective stops on every trade and have a good trading day on Friday. <laughs>